You are listening to Sacred Heart of Jesus Radio, a ministry of the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Hello everyone and welcome to today's evening prayer. We begin by saying, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O living breath from heaven, we thank you for watching over us through the day. Sacred heart of Jesus, that you we would not have made it. Sacred heart of Jesus, we pray that you watch over us as we sleep tonight. Bless us with the covering of your Holy Spirit, a sacred heart, our Lord. Adorable and precious heart, grant that your grace may come and quiet all hearts. We seek comfort and refuge inside your gentle heart, or sacred heart of Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, meek and humble you died on the cross for us, yet aware of your great sacrifice, we have continued to sin against you. Your sacred heart has shown us perfection. You have given us all your love, but we have not loved you with a whole heart. We have not followed your example. When your sacred heart invited us to love our neighbors and our enemies, as we love ourselves, we turned and walked away. When you gave us the opportunity to be merciful and forgive those who have hurt us, we often closed our hearts instead. We prostrate ourselves before your throne and implore that you forgive our sins, purify our hearts so that we may perfectly and worthily love and magnify your sacred heart. Amen. sacred heart what could we bring to you in order to give you thanks for as the day progressed you provided for us beyond measure your generous heart gave to us without condition even though you have every right to demand from us holy 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 lord we offer you all hearts and pray that you place them in your sacred heart. Allow us to dwell in your sacred heart so that we may be transformed in such a way that tomorrow we will awaken with a burning desire to love you and serve you day and night. O blessed sacrament, the tabernacle of our heart desperately needs you. Without you, it is cold and empty, but with you, it comes to life. Here we are, Lord, we prostrate before you, knowing that your mercy will cover us with unending blessings because of your unending grace. Let us be a blessing to those around us. Amen. Amen. We now take this moment to bring to mind the needs of the Christian church. We especially pray for our persecuted brothers and sisters who suffer at the hands of those who hate Jesus. We pray, Lord, that you send your angels before them to remove all obstacles out of their way and to encamp around them and protect them from all attacks of the enemy. We also pray, Heavenly Father, for... That, that your Holy Spirit, Lord, will touch the hearts of those who persecute your people. That in touching their hearts, their eyes may be opened and they may become your followers. And Heavenly Father, we also pray for all bishops. Especially we pray for Archbishop Brown. We pray for all the apostles, priests, missionaries, deacons, religious and all people. And gracious Father, we pray for those who are sick, especially those who suffer from cancer, lupus, multiple sclerosis, diabetes, autoimmune diseases, mental health problems, drug addiction, and any other form of addiction. I also pray for an end to the we also pray for an end to the Ebola outbreak. And we pray 
that uh, those who are sick with Ebola may be healed and those who care for them may be protected. Heavenly Father, we pray for grieving families. We pray for the homeless, the poor, the unemployed, and the oppressed. We pray for an end to domestic violence, an end to the abuse of women and children, and an end to abortion. We also bring to you, Lord, the special intentions for the order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. Lord, we pray that when we come together for prayer, we may pray in the Spirit at all times, in every prayer and supplication. Lord, have mercy. Merciful Father, without your Holy Spirit, we are nothing but emptiness and confusion. Let us be filled with the Holy Spirit, so that we may be inspired to pray according to your will and purpose. Lord, have mercy. Gracious Father, as you fill us with your Holy Spirit, let the manifestation of the Spirit be given to us. Grant us a message of wisdom. Grant us a message of knowledge. Increase our faith. Bless us with the gifts of healing. Give us miraculous powers. Give us the gift of prophecy, the gift of distinguishing between spirits, the gift of speaking in different kinds of tongues, the gift of interpretation of tongues. But more importantly, Lord, bless us with the gift of love. All according to your will and for the glory of your holy name. Lord, have mercy. Lord Christ, in your mercy you have called us to serve you. We pray that you will guide us and inspire us by the Holy Spirit so that when we speak a message may be given to us to make known with bonus the mystery of the gospel. Lord have mercy. Heavenly Father we live in a time when the world attempts to contaminate every aspect of our life with contradictions to your word. Help us to be strong in you, God, and to rely on your power. Put your armor on us, God, so that we may be able to stand against the tricks of the devil. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, many refuse to hear your holy message and are being deceived by the enemy. The harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. We pray, according to your will, that you send out workers into your harvest field, that upon hearing your gospel, many will repent, be baptized, and be saved by your unending grace. Lord, have mercy. King of peace, as you ask, whom shall I send to proclaim your message of salvation into the world? Here am I, send me. Look kindly upon you. Servants gather here today and use each of us according to your gifts as ambassadors of your holy message here in our cities and around the world. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, Heavenly King, revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, O Lord, God Almighty. Make your face shine upon us that we may be saved. Bring a revival to each one of us, that from all revival many will come to hear and accept the good news of salvation. Lord, have mercy. And now as the Lord Jesus Christ has taught us, we are bold to say, Our Father, Father who, who art in heaven, heaven hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, come, thy will be done, done on earth as, as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us, and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen. O sacred heart of Jesus, to you I consecrate and offer up my person and my life, my actions, trials, and sufferings, that my entire being may henceforth only be employed in loving honoring and glorifying you. This is my irrevocable will to belong entirely to you and to do all for your love, renouncing with my whole heart 
all that can displease you. I take your sacred heart for the sole object of my love, the protection of my life, the pledge of my salvation, the remedy of my frailty and inconstancy, the reparation for all the defects of my life, and my secure refuge at the hour of my death. I pray that you, O most merciful heart, be my justification before God, your Father, and screen me from his anger, which I have so justly merited. I fear all from my own weakness and malice, but placing my entire confidence in you, O heart of love, I hope all from your infinite goodness, Annihilate in me all that can displease or resist you. Imprint in me your pure love so deeply in my heart that I may never forget you or be separated from you. I beg you through your infinite goodness, grant that my name be engraved upon your heart. For in this I place all my happiness and all my glory to live and to die as one of your devoted servants. Amen. Amen. This concludes today's evening prayer i am so glad that you were able to join in i am so glad you were able to pray with us and i want to thank all the, all of you out there who are sharing these prayers as i go on facebook and and different social media i notice that many of you are sharing these prayers uh, on a regular basis a lot of you a lot of you are liking them and a lot of you are sharing them. And if you can do both, even better. It is, you know, important that we do this. Because you never know when you're going to reach someone who might be at a point in their lives where, you know, when they hear these prayers, their heart is filled with joy and, and a deep desire to, to, to go into the heart of Jesus Christ. And when we are inside the heart of Jesus... There's nothing better than that. When we are inside the heart of Jesus, we can experience that love, that mercy, that compassion, that generosity. And it is just the greatest thing, the greatest feeling. Nothing compares to it. And so, in sending these prayers to other people, in sharing them with other people, they might be uh, doing drugs. And you know what? Drugs will last but a second. When the drug wears out, the problem's still there, the pain's still there, the emptiness is still there, and the person's still suffering as much as they suffer before they took the drug even worse because now they need the drug and now they start exhibiting behavior that is going to get them deeper into problem. But with Jesus, you know, that Jesus is permanent. Once Jesus grabs all of your heart, and once you grab hold of his heart, oh my goodness, there's no letting go. Because nothing, nothing can separate us from the love of Christ. Nothing. So, think about this before you log out. And think about the, the tremendous impact that you can have in the lives of so many people out there just by simply clicking on the share button of your application, whether it's on Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn, MySpace, Google+, whatever the case may be, there's a multitude of social networks out there where we can share these prayers and make a, a difference in the life of, of so many people out there. Also, if you want to get even more involved, come by our website at sacredheartjesus.org that is sacredheartjesus.org when you get to our website right on the homepage there's a form fill out that form submit it once I get your form it will take me a couple of days sometimes to process the information and put it on my on my um, email database and whatnot, and then send it back to you with some information but you'll get some information from us, from the Order of the Sacred Heart of Jesus, giving you a better idea of what we do and what we're all about. And we are looking for people all over the world. 